Hello, my friends. Sorry, it's been so long. All of my finals are done now. And as you can see, no, nope, this way. As you can see, I've bought a tripod from our corporate overlords so that I'm not putting you on top of my display case and hoping it works out. So today we are going to do a horizontal hip circle practice. I will tell you a little uh, cheat that you can do with a coin belt. Uh, they're not mandatory, but they do kind of help out sometimes. Uh, so we'll start with that. I'll go into posture. As you can, you can probably hear it. It is a lower one, so I won't get the perfect result that I'm going to show you, but it, it does help. So I'm bent, I'm tucked, and I'm rolled. I'm rolled. So if you have a coin belt and you're doing your horizontal hip circles, the main objective is to do it so that none of the coins rattle. Like I said, it's a little bit more difficult when you have a lower belt. Just because of the curvature of your body, they're going to move. So if you have a coin belt, slap her on, try her out. And that's, that's the cool thing about a coin belt in horizontal hip circles. So I'm going to throw on some music, give you some words of encouragement throughout, remind you about posture, and we're just going to go through a couple of songs doing horizontal hip circles. We're going to start on our right side. We're always going to start on our right side. All right. Make sure that you are bent, tucked, and rolled. And we're going to start with our right, to our right. So we're going to go back, D-shape, across, D-shape, across. Remember that you're painting a D on the floor. So we're not sticking our butt out. None of this. We're just going circle and across. Make sure you're still bent and tucked. And a reminder, if you need to take any breaks at any time, feel free to do so. This is a practice, so we will be going for a while. The biggest thing is to not let your body untilt or untuck. You see, I'm trying to keep my back straight as I'm doing this. All right, shake it out. We're gonna do the left side now. Remember to bend, tuck, and roll. We're going this way now.
And for those of you who are audio learners, the count is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So essentially two counts forward, two counts backwards. Remember to keep bent and tucked and rolled. Take as many breaks as you need to. It may feel like you're just doing the same movement as you did last time. That's okay. It essentially is the same move, you're just focusing on the left side. It will come in handy when we start to do traveling movements, because you can do these as a traveling movement. We'll get there at a later time. So right now we're just practicing the movement. I bet your legs are burning. You got this, we're almost done. Okay, shake it out. You've made it through your first practice. First practice done. You can do this as many times as you want. Let me know if you want one without music. Might be a little awkward, because you know, silence. But if you need it, if that's what you need, let me know. And I uh, will see you in the next video.